Hello, I'm Claudio Agosti. We are the C base for the DM25 Bar Camp among the members of this movement. And we are presenting the green paper on technological sovereignty. I guess to me, it's, we're, we're at this very interesting time. And I don't think we can be jaded. I don't think that we can say that all hope is lost. We are up against monumental struggles, perhaps more than any generation in the history of the world. It's not, a, it's not a, a hot conflict, but I think that we are involved in a cold war for our minds. Yeah, I think we have a lot of fear that technology is going to change the way we work and that robots are going to take our jobs. But actually, the reality is automated decision making is already changing the way we work. We cannot really express ourselves on something that we do not understand. And that uh, is one of the problems, in my opinion, on uh, democratized technology, that uh, we should also um, explain to a broader audience how this technology works, which is the power behind, and uh, what uh, we can uh, try to control or to use in our interest. I hear a lot of people saying, oh, just get off this platform or just do this. But when it comes to the world, not everyone has the privilege that we have. Not everyone has the disposable income to make more ethical consumption decisions. The technology is uh, done by people who are developers and hardware people and software engineers. They're usually very good people. The evil side comes from the business perspective. So harvesting these people to co-create solutions that actually serve the humans and solutions that are owned not by a company, not even a social impact company, but they are owned by the collective. I think we need two solutions. I, need, I think we need uh, more investment in platform cooperatives uh, that are run by citizens or by, or by city authorities, that's on one hand. On the other hand, we need to also control better and regulate better the companies that already exist. Having spent the day talking about technology and democracy here, um, what I want to say to you all is that democracy is the technology that we need. It is the only system we've developed so far that has any shot of bringing us through the challenges that we face in civilization right now. So um, please, when you're thinking about the future and technology, bet on democracy. I would like everybody to read this and to come back to us and say what they like about it or what they don't like about it. And what would be, I think, the best compliment is if people would copy us as in true open source and spread these ideas and build on them and adopt them and incorporate them and change them and carry them forward.